<clears throat> All right. Well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to do another one-shot review. I wanted to talk about this guy, this Inokin Endura T18 II. I've been using this for about two months now, and it is probably one of, if not the best, mouth-to-lung vapes I've had this year. I'm a real, real old-school vapor. I love a good mouth-to-lung. The K-Fun Light Plus is a staple in my vape arsenal setup. I need to have a really good mouth-to-lung. Inokin has been cranking out some pretty good mouth-to-lung stuff. That prism tank that's on top of this. They have the, uh, what's the one with the, the plexus mesh coil heads? The Chroma A kit with the with the plexus mesh coil heads that are mouth to lung inakin inakin's been doing some good mouth to lung stuff and this is uh this is no different this is a fantastic fantastic mouth to lung vape now i have this loaded up with 12 milligram water malone from liquid barn but it is obviously nick salt compatible if your vape uses a liquid chances are it's going to be nick salt compatible like they don't advertise it that way but you can definitely use Nick Salts in this, you know, no problems, no big deal whatsoever. So this has a little sort of rubber concave. It's this way. That's concave, right? Convex would be this way. Concave is this way. It's got this little concave little real slick rubber button that is super super clicky and after you take a toot on it the lights on the front will show you how full your battery is there's an internal 1300 ma or milliamp hour battery and when you're done vaping you press or when you when you let go of the button it's going to light up three if it's full it's going to light up two obviously if it's draining and then eventually it's just going to light up one and then it's going to be like hey you need to recharge your battery after i take this toot it should light up three right there Let's watch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, flash three on there to show that it's fully, fully charged. The mouth-to-lung, the quality of the mouth-to-lung vape from these prism coil heads are fantastic, are just fantastic. And I have to be, look, I'll be real honest. I did not have, I did not have very high hopes for this when I got it in the mail. This was the only device I've ever opened that felt like it was outdated right out of the box. It's got this very retro vaping vintage sort of look and feel to it. It looks like the old like Ego Twist stuff or the old Ego Twist kits or like the old really old, anybody remember the Vision Spinners from back in the day? They looked like this. It was that same like bigger battery, slightly bigger tank, a little bit like a wand. I don't know. It just had a very like old, old feeling to me. I, it felt outdated, like I said, right out of the box. Thankfully, that doesn't matter because it vapes so well. If this had vaped terribly, then I would have been, you know, in a can, come on, what are you doing? You're creating these old, really old looking vape stuff and they don't even vape very well. Thankfully, thankfully this vapes, I mean, unbelievably, incredibly. I am, I don't want to say I'm a mouth to lung like snob, but I'm definitely a little bit of a mouth to lung connoisseur. I know what I like with mouth to lung and it's a way that I've been vaping for damn near a decade now. And, and I love it. I love a good mouth to lung. This, this, this little gradient guy right here. This is a solid mouth to lung. Mm-hmm. It's it's saturated, it's flavorful, it's very, very satisfying. If you are a smoker or if you are a vapor that primarily uses like pod systems and you want to step into something with maybe a little bit bigger of a battery, and by a little bit, I mean it's going to be a huge jump in battery life compared to little pod systems and a huge jump in capacity compared to pod systems as well. This is going to kind of basically be just a real big pod system that you have to press the button in order to get it to activate. So there's two bummers on this. Well, not really two bummers. It's like one bummer, but the AFC, the airflow comes directly from the battery. So that means you can't really use this particular tank on any other mods or devices unless you have a modder device with like airflow cut into the top of it, which these aren't really super around anymore. This is a very old school thing as well, but it will work. If your mod has airflow slots cut into the top of the 510 threading, you can screw this down there 
Oh wait, it's gonna ask me new load. You can screw this down there and it'll work, but there's no AFC, so the draw is gonna be real, real tight. Hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was said, but yeah, it still works pretty good too. But, hang on, sorry. Sorry, I just get so ahead of myself. But you have to use it on a device with cuts, notches, in the 510 because you're not going to be able to use it because the AFC is actually on the battery. I rock this AFC full open, it's mouth to lung. You couldn't even try to do a restricted lung, even full open, just mouth to lung. You can tighten this airflow down if you like your mouth to lung to be a little bit tighter than, than anybody else or a little bit tighter in general. AFC, no issues on this. You can tighten it down, you can loosen it up. It's just an all-around, real versatile mouth-to-lung. Now, I'm not going to do any sort of uppy closey stuff on this, but it comes with a long coil head on the inside that I can't take out of here. But when you want to install it or change it, take off the tank, take off the little ring, and you're, you're going to grab this 510 threading and you're just going to pull the coil head out. It's just held in there by little O-rings, right? You can just pull it out. And if I did that now, I would have a waterfall of water Malone all over my hands and all over my pants, so I'm not going to do that right now. But you can. You just pull this out, put a new one in. I put like six or seven drops of liquid right down the top of the coil head, fill up the tank, let it sit for about 10 minutes or so. Dude, you'll be good. You'll be good to vape. It's even easier to fill. It's just a little screw off the top right here, and there's plenty of room. I can't really tilt this, ah, but there's plenty of room in there to just blip, fill up your juice. No big deal. There goes the top cap. Of course I dropped it. Of course I dropped it in an edit-free video. Son of a bitch. Here we go. So now you can screw this back on here. And it really only comes with one style of drip tip. It comes with two of the, the, the same drip tip. And the only reason I'm pointing that out is because sometimes in a can ships a mod or a device with like two different styles of drip tips. You usually get one that's a little bit more like a chimney and then one that's a little bit more like an hourglass. Not so much in this case, you just get two straight drip tips. And now the last thing that I wanted to mention is the little magnetic cap. Look at that. It's like a little magnetic pen cap for your little vape. If you're putting it in your pocket or a purse or a backpack or something like that and you don't want lint or fuzz or dirt getting in there, sure, throw on this tiny little magnetic like pen cap thing. I genuinely thought when I opened this package, I was like, well, I'm losing that. <laughs> like, no questions asked. This is going to be lost very, very soon. I've somehow managed to hang on to it. I use it as advertised. I put it on the top. If I'm not using it, I'll set it down. Sometimes I'll stick it to the bottom because it's magnetic and you can do that without losing it. It's just good. It's just good. It's nice. It's satisfying. I really like it. Uh, I really like it. I really like it a lot. Now, are you going to need your vape budget hands if you want to check out the Inakin Endura T18 II? I don't know, not really. I found it across the internet anywhere from like 35 to 40 bucks, which isn't necessarily heavily into vape budget hands territory. It's more of a cheap enough just to try it, just to, just to buy it, just to try it out. If you're looking for a mouth to lung vape that is an awesome mouth to lung vape, but also looks maybe a little bit older feeling a little bit nostalgic a little retro feeling then yeah the Inakin Endura wow that's loud what stop why did it do that okay it might it might happen again it might happen again at about nine minutes I don't know why my alarm went off twice that was for me to end the video so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna end this video Inakin Endura T18 II looks a little old school but it gives a great battery life, 1300 ma. You got a nice bigger juice capacity, assuming you're upgrading from like a pod system. And it's going to deliver stellar mouth to lung. Just stellar, stellar mouth to lung vape. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Inakin Endura T18 II. Links aren't allowed in the description, so you're going to have to use your Google Foo. And it does kind of get a little bit confusing out there sometimes with Inakin products. They do this weird naming system. They have the Inakin Endura T18 and the Inakin Endura T20. And then they have the Inakin Endura T18 II. So it's the second version of the Inakin Endura T18. Anyway, T18 II. That's that's what you need to look out for. 
if you're interested in this. If not, then I don't know. You can just call it whatever you want. <laughs> anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Let's remove this. Let's have some more mouth to lung goodness. That's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, mouth to lung all day long. Let's keep on vaping.